Hey what's up Speedsters, Speedsters United here. Today I'm going to be doing a top 5 video of some of my favourite songs from Sonic 06. Now before I get into today's video, I will say that I have made a video like this before. I made a similar video 2 years ago but that video has not aged well at all. But without further ado, let's get into my top 5 Sonic 06 songs. <laughs> Kicking off the list with number 5 is Theme of Dr. Eggman. This for me still happens to be one of the best themes that we got for Dr. Eggman in the games. I would even go as far to say that this theme outdoes Eggman's SA2 theme. Eggman's theme in 06 feels way more intimidating and threatening and carries much more weight than his SA2 theme. Theme of Dr. Eggman just hits harder and as I said before it just feels more threatening to me. When I listen to it I can feel the threat that Eggman carries with him as he is a dangerous being and a threat to life. It's why when you see the opening cutscene to Sonic's story in the game, I feel the emotions and fear that the citizens of Soliana are feeling whilst everything is exploding and all the robots are dropping in front of them. At number 4 is Soliana Castle Town. My reason being is that it's just a great song to vibe to, especially when you're doing a piece of artwork or just doing work in general. But another reason is, in the music, you can feel how peaceful Soliana is, without the threat of Eggman's robots of course. It definitely is one of my favourite hub world songs in the games, especially when you compare it to the music that plays in Frontiers when you're running around in the open world. Personally for me, I don't like it when background music is ambient and quiet, I prefer it when it's quite prominent in the game and not just something shoved in to get rid of the awkward silence. At the number 3 spot is Crisis City. So you're probably thinking, ugh, you only put this in the video because it plays during Silver Stages. Well, yes, you're right, you cheeky thing. But also because of this. I like Crisis City because it fits in with the tragedy of what has happened to Silver's world. Also, when I listen to it, I can feel the desperate struggle of Silver trying to get through his world and fix it so he can live a peaceful life. I mean, imagine this. You're trying to live your life peacefully, but the world around you is constantly falling apart. I mean, that does seem to be what is happening to the real world at the moment, but I'm not here to talk about the real world and its politics and issues, I'm here to talk about music in the Sonic game. In second place is His World. I love His World because it represents who Sonic is and what he's about. He's just a dude living a free life and doing good things, stopping Eggman from doing bad things. I also love the song because it's just a banger to listen to. This is also one of those songs that has some of the best remixes. Those include the Zebrahead version, the E3 version, which is the one that I personally like the most. I've also taken a liking to the Crush 40 version of the song. I'm much more of a fan of the Crush 40 version as an instrumental than a song with lyrics because I just don't vibe with the lyrics. The Crush 40 version as an instrumental just feels like if the E3 version of the song was extended and was more amped up, which is probably why I prefer the E3 version and Crush 40 versions to any of the other iterations of this world. And last, but certainly not least, in the number one spot we have Dreams of an Absolution. Now, like I said with Crisis City, you're all going to be thinking, well of course you're going to put it at the first spot because it's Silver's theme song. Again, like I said with Crisis City, you're absolutely not wrong. But I love Dreams of an Absolution because, again, it's that same thing of the struggle that Silver has with life because of his world being a literal ball of lame. I also like that some of the verses in the song have meaning to them. The line, all your troubles are the what they seem, meaning Silver thinking that Sonic is the ablest trigger. The line, but then you still control the past, meaning Silver having the chance to control the past. The line, we can all try to change the past, meaning that Sonic, Silver and Shadow have the ability to change the past. And the line, happiness lies trapped in misery, referring to when Iblis gets sealed within the future, Blaze is sent to another dimension despite Silver's protest. In short, Dreams of an Absolution is a song about Silver dreaming about a brighter future, which some people, including myself, will find that a little emotional. At some point in the future, I would love to make a video about the true meaning behind dreams of an absolution because it really has a sad meaning but more on that in another video what's your favorite sonic 06 song do you have any favorites that weren't mentioned in this video let me know in the comments below and with that being said thank you for making it to the end of the video if you enjoyed be sure to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future sonic content also don't forget to join the community discord to talk to me and a bunch of other sonic fans and as always keep on speeding and have an absolutely fantastic day Let's